Hi, this is Frank Furness, and welcome again to the video channel. And today I'm going to be speaking about what does it take to be a successful advisor. Now, I've identified the three C's, and the first C really is commitment. How committed are you as a financial advisor? How committed are you? You've got to be 1,000% committed. You've got to love what you're doing. And you really don't have to care about what people are saying because people are going to say all kinds of things. I remember when I first started selling many, many years ago, I had a lot of clients, a lot of top managers at one company. And every Friday night, they'd get together and have a couple of drinks. And about once a month, I'd go and join them. And I remember going there one Friday night. I was chatting to some of the managers that were clients of mine. And a new person walked in, the real loudmouth kind. And he saw me speaking to some of these other people. And he did the typical kind of thing. He came to me and he said, Oi, who are you? I said, Damn, Frank Furness. What do you do? I said, Well, I'm a financial advisor. And he did the typical thing. He went like this. Stay away from me. Don't you come near me. I said, No, I won't. I only deal with successful people. Well, as you can imagine, everybody burst out laughing. He left. Monday morning, I got a call, and he became a client of mine. So that leads us into the second one, which is all about confidence. You've got to be totally, totally confident. I like speaking to business owners and wealthy people. Now, in the beginning, when I used to go and see them, I messed up. It's like riding a bicycle. The first time you ride a bike, you fall off. You get on again, you fall off. The third time, you wobble a bit, and then you get going. Now, imagine the first time you learned to drive. Gee, you were concentrating on the gears and everything. Now you're texting, you're on the phone, you're doing all kinds of things while you're driving. And that's what it is. When you go and see these really wealthy people, because that's where the big money is, it's confidence. The third C, of course, is about a can-do attitude. For me, everything is about attitude. If you've got a can-do attitude, you're going to be one of the most successful financial advisors in the world. There's three other things that you've got to look at as well. Is you've got to take total, total responsibility. I remember my very first boss when I first started out selling financial services came to me and said, you know what, if you don't sell, there's only one person who's responsible. Go and take a look in the mirror. And that's always stuck with me. You see, bad salespeople, it's everybody else's fault. We don't have the right products. We're too cheap. We're too expensive. There's too many people in the city. There's not enough people in the village. And they'll always come up with an excuse. No excuses. You take total responsibility. The second thing is you've got to think three years ahead. What I did 10 years ago is totally different to the way that I would work now, the way I would prospect now. You know, when I first started, I could pick up the phone and I could cold call people and I would get appointments. Now, my, my, my ratios would be terrible if I had to cold call people. So now, I start to use the new cold calling called social media. Are you on LinkedIn? What does your photograph look like on LinkedIn? Are you holding your cat or you're drunk at some party? No. It's got to be just as professional as going to any meeting. So it starts with your photograph. There's nine different places where you can establish your credibility there. Get involved in groups. Think about who would buy the kind of services that you're going to offer. If you're working in Hong Kong, join social groups in Hong Kong. Look for small businesses in Hong Kong. Look for big businesses in Hong Kong. Look for expat groups in Hong Kong, join those groups, and then you get in to start getting articles out to them where you're establishing your credibility about what is a cure ops, how we can help you, how to free up your UK pension. You've got to think even Facebook. On Facebook, you can put in some professional pages as well. And of course, YouTube is the best thing that has ever happened. You know, YouTube is the world's second largest search engine. How many videos have you got on YouTube? I've got 330. I've got 3 million views. It is the cheapest and best form of advertising I could ever have. So how many videos have you got on YouTube? Think about all of those social networking sites because really that is the new cold calling. So you've got to think three years ahead. The last thing is you've got to master entrepreneurial strategies. Stop thinking like a salesperson and start thinking like a business person. Your time is just as valuable as a lawyer, as an accountant, 
So if you think about the time that you're wasting, you're losing money. If you think like a business person, you could go and work seven hours a day and be way more effective than some of those people that are coming in seven days and working 12 hours a day. So there it is, a whole lot of strategies. This is what successful financial advisors do. Now, if you want to find out a lot more, why not go and take a look at ifaskills.com. This is a package I've put together, 15 CDs, there's videos, there's audios, there's interviews with some of the world's top salespeople, financial advisors. Great, great stuff for you. Remember that, ifaskills.com. And hey, this is Frank Furness. Thanks for watching.